Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a quick trip to Hobby Lobby with me. I'm going to go pick up some good finds today. I'll show you exactly what I'm buying and I'll give you suggestions on how to use each and every one of the things that I'm purchasing today. So, if that's something you want to see, I hope you do. Stick around. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, to start, I saw these trees. They're a hollow tree. They are $8, so you'll get them for $4. They're fur-lined already. They are 18 inches in length, and the fabric on them is so nice and pretty. You could decorate these up so many different ways. You could add ornaments to them. You could just add some garland to them, some lights to them, something just simple. This is the kind of things that I pick up every year. These 3D ornaments, they are inexpensive. So you get for $6, so you'll get them for $3. That makes those about 50 cents a piece, which is a real good bargain. Okay, these really are made well. You could use these for um, decorating your tree. You could use them for decorating packages. You could paint them. If you have a Cricut, you could actually personalize them and use them on your tags. Their embellishments are always so pretty. You know, they got a lot of detail on these. These little gingerbread people were so cute. And then these little deer, you get four of these in a pack. And they sit different ways so you can put them on different things. And then they have these little gingerbread houses that I thought were just adorable. I definitely picked up all three of these today. Okay, this is what the little gingerbread guys look like close up. You got a gingerbread girl, a gingerbread guy, but they're pretty thick. You could use these in a lot of different things that you're using for the holidays. They'd be great in gift baskets. And these little reindeer are super cute. They would be good on just about anything that you put them on. They would be good on a wreath. They would be good on a tiered tray. They would also be great for gift packaging. If you're doing some treat packaging, they'd be super cute to put in with those. Okay, these little gingerbread houses, you could embellish just about anything with these. They'd be great on gift tags. I think they'd be super cute in a gingerbread um, fake latte. Just put up in the top if you have whipped cream in there and just stick them on top. These are always a great one to pick up if you see these. These are these big bags of potpourri that they have. These can be divided up into four gifts. Now you can get a wide mouth mason jar and you can divide this one bag into four gifts, put a nice ribbon on it, a nice tag on it, and then you got four gifts for about um, the price of $10 once you get your discount off of there. So you're looking at $2.50 a gift. Okay, if you like decorating with cinnamon sticks, which I do, pick up some of these because these are so much less expensive than the ones at the store because these are really not intended for food use, just for scent and decoration only. So they really are a good bargain. Okay, if you're looking for some high quality stickers, Hobby Lobby has these that are made by Papercraft. Most of these are like puffy or they're like 3D. You know, they're dimensional. So they'd be great on um, gift packages, gift tags. And if you're doing gift treats, these really do add to your packaging. And these are the ones I bought. I'm going to use these for my food gifting. I'm going to use the little trucks. And then I'm also going to use these. I think these would be super cute if you did like a hot chocolate themed gift. They would definitely add to that. Fillable ornaments are something that I pick up every year. Now this little pack right here has eight in it and it ends up being four dollars with your discount. So those are only 50 cents a piece. And you can put hot chocolate in here, make a little gift basket, put a mug with a little bag of marshmallows in it, a pair of fuzzy socks. And these are crystal clear so you could personalize these with a Cricut if you have that or put any kind of vinyl sticker that you even purchase. Dollar Tree even carries some vinyl stickers. This little bundle of wooden logs, these are half logs, and they're on a piece of um, fabric, and I'll show you here in a minute because I'll show you how they look when you get them home, but for $6.99, these end up being $3.50 after your discount. That is a good buy because you can use them a lot. And then these sticks, these ended up being $2.99, so $1.50 with your discount. That's a lot of sticks, and you can put them around a candle, put a ribbon around them, put some greenery around them. So pretty. This is what these look like when you pull them apart. I just put them in a box and just pull off what I want. I've used these before to decorate up a sled. If you want to decorate up a sled with it has a lot of like wood in it, like they've been hauling wood for fireplaces or something like that, then put some greenery on it. These really do add to that. You can also use these in all kinds of different arrangements. There's so many of them in that roll. You'll be surprised that you can it'd take you a couple years probably to go through them all. I had to pick these up. I just thought they were so cute. These are the little Grinch hands. They end up being $2 a piece. I have some ideas of what I'm going to do with them, but I'm not going to tell you right now what, I, what I'm going to do because I am going to do a video where I am going to do something with these. But these are posable, so you could use these for some really fun crafts. 
Okay, these little trees, they are so full. They end up with your discount being $7, which still is a little bit pricey, but you can pull the greenery off of these if you want to do something where you're doing some decor that just needs a little bit of greenery. Like if you're doing some gift tags or something, you want to put a piece of greenery on it. It's cheaper to buy something like this than it is to buy some greenery over in the floral department and then take it apart because this little tree is so full of those little branches. These little bells I got in the floral pick department, and I'm not going to use them like that. These were $4.99, so you get them for $2.50. That ends up being about a little bit over $0.50 cents a piece for these. But you could take this apart and use these on so many different projects. And that's what I'm going to do with these because I just thought that they were so pretty. They have a lot of different garland and they have a lot of products on them. If you were to take these garland and just separate them, you could use all of these for different projects. And that's normally what I do when I buy the garland. I usually don't ever use their garland for garland. I usually just take it home and separate it. And then for about $14.99, you know, once your discount, you're at like $7.50. You get about, um, each one of the little items on it ends up being maybe a quarter or 50 cents a piece. And then the beads, you can't go wrong buying a big stringer of beads because that is a bargain on those. And then these are little felt beads. These were super cute too. And then the little gingerbread men, those would be so cute. If you did gingerbread cookies, they would be cute in a little gift basket with some gingerbread cookies. Okay, I think this advent calendar is so simple that you could do a lot of different things with this. This one ended up being $4.99. So once you got your discount, you're at $2.50. You can't beat that. I think it would be really cute if you were to take a couple of the Dollar Tree crates, line them up in the back, glue them to this, and then put 24 envelopes in this, depending on who you're giving it to. If you're giving it to a kid, you could put a piece of candy in it, a little gift card in it. If you're giving it to a friend, you could put um, some kind of inspirational message into each one of them. Their detailed cutouts are always great to pick up because you could use those on so many different projects. I did pick up a couple packages of these. I think these would be so pretty if you were to maybe put a dowel stick down the bottom, put it on a stand, add a piece of scrapbook paper to the back, maybe a buffalo plaid or something like that, and then paint it up real pretty. And then maybe around the base of the stand, you could put some greenery. It would be something simple, and you could do that with that. It also would be good to put as a gift wrap or even in a gift basket. I'm definitely picking up some of these lanterns. These end up being only $3 a piece, and they're pretty good size, too. And you can decorate these so many different ways. You could put a candle in them. You could put a um, little bit of ornaments in them. You could put greenery in them with some little fairy lights. You could actually put um, some a bag down in there, put some food gift in there. So whatever kind of treat you're giving out this year, just put your bag down in there and pour your stuff in there and then tie a nice bow on the top. These measure two and three quarter by two and three quarter by six inches. So they were a pretty good size. I definitely recommend grabbing a bag of these little pine cones. These are so handy to use for so many different projects. If you watch any of my other videos at Christmas and Thanksgiving, you'll see that I use these quite often. Okay, I love their mini wreaths, and they have a good variety on these. And these ended up only being $3 after your discount. But what I do with these is I usually take a vase from the Dollar Tree. I sit it right down the center. It's the perfect size for these. And then you could fill it up with, um, you could put pine cones in there, greenery. You could put a candle in there. You could also put those little water beads in there and suspend different little Christmas ornaments inside of that. Now is a really good time to pick up some ribbon because it does go fast, especially these pretty ribbons like this. I get asked a lot of times um, where I get my ribbon. I did on projects that I've done in the past couple of years. I always get my Christmas ribbon at Hobby Lobby. They have some of the prettiest ribbon and they are big spools of ribbon. And you don't see this just about everywhere. And it's thick ribbon. It's not real thin ribbon. But look how pretty that is. Get some ribbon while they have it. Hey, be sure and check out their ornaments too because you can use these in a lot of projects and you can pick these up for about two dollars or less. I got asked last year where I got some of my houses for some of my projects. I get those in the ornaments section at Hobby Lobby but you can use these in a lot of different projects. Hey, I wanted to take you down this aisle just to show you how many different colors that they had on these floral picks and if you pick up a couple floral picks you can add a lot to your arrangements with them or any of your DIYs because they do add a lot of color and they do add a lot of texture. 
Okay, and I'm always drawn to the greenery in the floral picks. Look how full this one is. This is, ends up being $2. You could do so many things with this. You could put these, um, you could fill up a Christmas tree if you want to stick a few of them in your tree to make it look a little bit thicker. You could use these in any kind of arrangement. You could actually pull them apart and use them on um, gift tags. You could actually make a table runner with these. Definitely a good buy on these. Hey, I hope this gave you some inspiration today. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if nobody's told you today, you're awesome. See you next time. Thanks for watching.